Ruthie here from Ruthie's Crafting Corner. How's everybody doing today? Today is Tuesday and I am coming to you from Riverview, Florida. And it's been a couple weeks, so I hope the new year has been very good to you. And I thought I would do an update. There's a couple things I wanted to talk about. Um, I had worked on my crochet sweater and I've got a good bit of it done. So let me hold this up somewhat. I've got one sleeve done. Okay, and here's, let's see, here's the front of it. And I still want to go around the neck in that. I do have it where it's slit on the side and a little longer in the back. And here's the other sleeve. I did have more done, but I accidentally decreased too soon. So I pulled that out this morning when I realized that. So hopefully I'll do some of that. But I really like how it's coming along. Before I seamed this part, I was able to slip it on my arm and see how long it was. So how about that? And that's by using the shirt that I really like that I had mentioned in previous videos. But I just wanted to show you I have come a long way with that. It's just, ah, it's, there's a lot going on like everybody else, right? Um, I am working on my stash as so many of you others are doing and oh, my nose itches probably got fuzz from my sweater and I have made hats I know you've probably seen it on Instagram if you're on Instagram because I can pop it on there so quickly but here's one of the hats and I put the name of it I can link the name of it um, in the description below but I do believe the pattern would show up if I would have used um, a solid color. But I do love the colorway. It's a uh, clay tone, I think, is the color. But you can still see the pattern in it. It's just I think it would have been more evident with a solid color. But I am stash busting. I don't remember the name. But this one I know is by Knitting I Love by Barbara. And she did this... <laughs> I just wanted to try that hat because she has it to go under like a, a rolled brim sort of or like a cuffed brim. I don't know what it's called, but I really liked it. I was so anxious to try it and I thought it looked so good on her and it's stretchy. I mean, it's plenty big. I just have it folded in half. And of course, nothing is blocked because I want to wait till I get a few more done and then block them. And let's see. I'm also stash bass. Ah, stash busting with my cotton yarn too, which is all dishcloths. And I keep them on the go. If I watch your videos or something, I can just knit and do the, you know, dishcloth while I'm watching videos and catching up, which I need to catch up today and yesterday. We've been busy. My husband's had a couple of point appointments and we had one today. We were going like four hours and it's like just running here and there and stuff like that so I wasn't gonna do a video and I thought oh it's kind of late but because I'm a morning person but I thought let me just get it out there and do a little update and then if you don't follow KB Fibers you should follow her I um I was watching I follow her channel anyway but during Christmas she did the advent um, I don't know, the minis, the advent minis where you get a mini for each day. And I was watching many other people that were doing that. And I loved that so much. I just was drawn to it. Well, she was doing it and I love to, you know, the anxious to see what was in the, the next color in the next little bag. And she shared that with us daily. And I know it's hard for everyone to do Vlogmas and things like that. But I really appreciate it. And I enjoy being a part of your, you know, journey and opening your Advent calendars and Vlogmas. But anyhow, she was doing this drawing, which I was watching her. You know, I'd watch her no matter what. But she had a drawing where, you know, if you're watching her video, she put your name in a, a box. And it's like, well... That's just a extra because I really enjoyed it. And she even went out of town and still shared with us her opening the mini. It might have been like, you know, later in the day or whatever. But it was a pleasure. So I won. And 
I was so excited. I got this, um, I got two needles. She's just way too generous. And I got the US one, nine inch, Haya Haya Sharps. Okay, so I have two, so I can do two at a time <laughs> on the nine inch circulars. And I was looking at it, I just got it yesterday, okay? And I was so excited, you know? I'm The wor world's worse when you're waiting for anything, you know, to come in the mail if you order something. And, um, and I was looking at it, and then in the back I noticed it had one of the little bulb stitch markers. Let me get it one out. Each little packet. I don't know if she threw that in as an extra or if it came with it, but it was the sweetest little <laughs> extra. I just love it. Isn't that nice? So I got two of those, and it is the US size one, 2.25 millimeter, nine inch. Awesome. Oops. Two. <laughs> and then I got this book. What is it? The Sock Knitter's Workshop. Okay, I started looking at it last night, and um, and then with our appointment, we were stuck waiting, you know, how appointments go, you know, they're not on time too often, so I used, I didn't have my bookmark or nothing, so I saw a little paper sitting on the, um, a little end table with the magazine, I go, oh, I need to save that spot so I can go back to it, so I'm sitting in there just reading the, looking through the book, and it's great, it has patterns, so it's the Sock Knitters Workshop, Everything Knitters Need to Knit Socks Beautifully by, oh my, I'm not going to even say the name, if, it, if you can see it on there. Maybe I'll just link it below. But so far, I've really enjoyed it. There's so much I want. I mean, it comes with the patterns and everything. Different styles of toes, star toe, round, you know, heels several different types of heels so what's nice is you know try a few different ones and see which ones really you like to use so I think well I'm I'm excited to do that because it's nice to have a variety but if one really clicks with me then I'm gonna stay with that you know so that was wonderful and I want to thank you Karen from KB Fibers she's gonna be doing a, a vlog she does Tuesday vlog, Thursday live, and she's going to be doing a knit sock along live, I believe. I don't know. She's going to do it with worsted weight, I believe she decided, on double pointed needles for the first sock she's doing. So, if you'd like to check her video out, that would be awesome. And like and subscribe. But I have gotten so many new subscribers. I don't know where you're coming from, but I appreciate it very much. Um, and I thank you all for all the returning subscribers, too. Um, a little update. On my previous video, I talked about Little One. It's our cat that we have that we, you know, brought in from being a stray outside. And then we found out she was pregnant. Well, Sunday evening, she had babies. So around 8.30, she seemed really needy that day. So I'm glad I got home from church. You know, I go early, so I get home at a decent time. And I check on her, but she seemed really needy and like sitting on your lap and very sweet. And then walking into the bedroom, she sleeps in our bedroom. And I thought, well, okay, I'll go in there and, uh, you know, spend time with her so I laid down and just pet her and pet her and ended up taking a nap which was nice I don't usually do that but then Sunday evening around 8 30 she started having you know you could see her tummy moving so I figured she'd start in labor so she had two and they are beautiful and she's a great mommy and she's still doing really good she's eating well probably too much information but I do buy like kitten food for extra nutrition for her I know you don't have to but I know she's feeding babies and I will try to insert a picture because my family wanted to see them and I turned off my flash on my phone and I took a picture of them a couple pictures but um they're doing really good um so I will share a picture and uh in the video at the end or somewhere just so you can see and um 
you know, it was just like, oh my goodness, we didn't foresee that coming. So everybody seems to be healthy and doing really good. So that's a plus. So I'm going to keep this short because it's been a long day and I do need to get some crochet in time. And I did start a another dishcloth while I was in the car because it's so easy just to throw that in there and trying to still, you know, use up my stash. And um, I haven't done much on my shawl. I haven't done any on my shawl. Actually, I don't remember where I left off. So if I can figure that out, great. If not, I might pull it out and start over because I don't know. I don't, I didn't mark where I was on my pattern for some reason. I could try to figure it out, but if not, maybe I'll start it over. But I've got a lot to do anyway. Finish my sweater is a, one of my goals. So, well, thank you all for visiting today, and I hope you have a wonderful day and the rest of the week, and I look forward to seeing your videos. Talk to you soon. Bye.